you doing? <laughs> now, Mr. Barley, you must be getting used to the needle by now. He throws the needle on top of the bell. It's where you keep jabbing me with it. <laughs> when you finish using me as a dollop board, that's what I've got to sit on. Oh! There. Now, that didn't hurt, did it? <laughs> it didn't hurt you. Right, Nurse. You can take the screens away. The wires are still having them around, beats me. I don't know what he thinks he's got to hide. He's embarrassed. He's got a hole in his pajamas. <laughs> if he'd slipped them down, I wouldn't have had to make one. <laughs> what did she do at training? To the African rifles? <laughs> you are awful, Mr. Varley. Did she put herself out to give you that jab so you'd be ready to receive your visitor? Visitor? Well, don't tell me it's none of those weary willies from the Friendship League. You should be very grateful. The Duke Good talking to the last one brought the colour back into your cheeks. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Not only did you finish my great talk, you had the teacher complain that sarsaparilla was flat. <laughs> now try and keep yourself nice and tidy and be a good boy. Well, give us a kiss then. Oh, really? <laughs> Pardon me. Tell me, are you Mr. Rickaby with the uh, twisted vertebrae or Mr. Crookshank with a fracture pelvis? <laughs> Neither. I'm Mr. Varley with the perforated rudder. Oh, oh no. Right. I know. I'm on the wrong floor. <laughs> What's the game? Well, it's called cheering people up. Would you like to play? Have I any choice? Well, you are down on my list. Mind you, I could mark you down as athlete. Uh, not much chance of that round here. You better sit down, we'll get it over with. Oh, thank you. Now, we to use this our half by presenting the compliments and kind thoughts of the Friendship League and wishing you a speedy recovery. Uh, thank you. I have the same wish for your departure. <laughs> <laughs> that has broken the ice. Now, would you please tell me, have you written home to Mummy? A big... <laughs> I beg your pardon? Which one of our opening gambits? You see, we have printed cards and suggested questions. Perhaps you'd like to save time, pick out the ones you'd like me to ask. <laughs> have you written home to Mummy? Ah, <laughs> well, I ask you the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, is this for use in the children's ward? Uh, is it? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> you know, I hadn't noticed a different heading. Is there any wonder I got such funny looks in the men's ward with? Are you hoping for twins? <laughs> Well, I don't wish to be inquisitive, but uh, have you been a hospital visitor very long? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, well, all day, in fact. I'm standing in for Mr. McQuirk. Uh, mind you, if I do well, they might put me on the rotor. Would you, would you like a mint with a hole in it? Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> would you like a mint without a hole in it? I'm trying to give them up. Oh, I see. Would you like a cigarette? Oh, here, have one of mine. My, oh, well, that's very, very kind of you. Right? Uh, no, thank you. I don't smoke. <laughs> you see, that's why I start mints with and without holes. Now, let's talk about your ailment. Are you really as ill as you look? <laughs> you did say you'd come to cheer me up. Oh, my. Well, I, you, I can't stand these people who come round and introduce a depressing atmosphere. Take my colleague, Mr. Sleazy. I followed him round the wards yesterday, and without fail, his opening remark was, well, Mr. So-and-so, are we going to make a fight of it? I've had him. In the end, I fought him halfway up the corridor. <laughs> well, I thought it was obvious. I mean, it is our duty to look on the bright side. I mean, take your case. You are a very sick man. Believe well, I can see that. But it's not my job to sit here getting morbid. I mean, you never know a chance miracle and you could pull through. <laughs> and what sort of a fool am I going to look then? Well, I think I can answer that. Yes, I'm sure you can. No, I prefer to be the supreme optimist. Let's talk about happier things. Do you think you'll still be here at Christmas? Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we come around the wharf singing carols, you know. It's always a big success. We did once in Royal David City, twice last year. Christmas? Boxing Day it was. We turned out all the lights. We carried candles. Oh, it was very moving. Even the mason had tears in her eyes. Tears in her eyes. She wet bucket. But mind, it might have been because we set fire to the decorations. <laughs> I can't be here at Christmas. I'm expecting to be home by weekend. Ah, uh, what a pity. You'll miss us. <laughs> Tell me, how do you feel at the moment? Terrible. 
I feel as though I've got a temperature of about 140. Do you really? 140? I wonder. No, this is no good. It only goes up to 110. <laughs> now you come to mention it, you know. I'm not too happy about your colour. Oh, I am sorry. <laughs> what colour would you like me? Well, I would... Uh, uh, do you mind if we leave the diagnosis to the doctors? Well, uh, not at all. Yeah. According to this, I'm normal. <laughs> According to that. Yeah. What is it the doctors say you've got wrong with you? They're still trying to find out. Is that what they told you? <laughs> yes. Oh dear me, that's a bit of a setback, but you mustn't worry. I mean, if they're popping you off, they've probably got a very good reason. So why should I think they're popping me off? Exactly. Well, it would only make matters worse. Far better to believe they're telling you the truth. Well, I believe they are telling me the truth. Well done. Quite simple, you see, if you put your mind to it. Would you like me to drop a line to your wife? <laughs> what about? Well, I could tell I'd be around the wards and I've seen you and you're looking as well... Well, there's no need to lie about it. <laughs> <laughs> Say you're looking as well as can be expected. Well, I'm just wondering what I can expect to look like when you've left me. <laughs> no, 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 Mr. Barry, you must be a moat. How are you for bed, Tom? Why, not thinking of knitting me a pair, are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, not personally, you see. We in the Men's Friendship League, we, we have a reciprocal arrangement with the Mother's Union. Um, bully for you. Does the vicar know? He suggested it. <laughs> <laughs> it seems very fair, you know. They do all our knitting, but if war breaks out, we do their fire watching. I'm afraid your visitor will have to wait outside for a moment. The doctor wants to have another look at you. Well, is there some part of me he hasn't seen? Courage, Mr. Barley. All is not lost. Uh, if he taps me again with his rubber hammer, it will be. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Doctor. It's all yours. Hello, the... Oh, you're Barley's visitor. Yeah. I've just been giving a boost to his morale. In that case, you better stand by to give mine one. He's a difficult customer. Yeah. Are you going to tell him what's wrong with him? Or are you still trying to find out what it is? Oh, you discovered that Mr. Varley's got an allergy. Uh, yeah. Well, I can't breathe a word, I assure you. <laughs> Excuse me. An allergy. Will he have to have it out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how's Mr. Varley today? Uh, I think I've had a relapse. Well, no wonder. What are you going to prompt me with this time? No, not a thing. The first thing we've got to do is to find it out what it is you're allergic to. Mm. Well, I can tell you that. Mm. Sergeant Major Britain here. The doctor's trying to be serious. Uh, yeah, uh, so am I. Doctor, don't you let her come at me with that needle anymore. Uh, I feel like a, a human pincushion. Uh, now we've got to inject you with various substances to see if we don't agree with you. Are you prone to hay fever? Yes, I am. Right. We'll have that plant out of here for a start. See, I can't take that. That's my wife's geranium. She bought it specially. Where do I have to go, Mr. Valley? It looks like he's on his last legs anyway. Well, that's your fault for neglecting it. I'll get Nurse to move it. Good. Well, I think that's all for now. Oh, you might ask your wife not to bring the more flowers until we made our diagnosis. Yes, I will. <clears throat> Strikes me nothing survives around here. And you might try being a little less cantankerous. It's not good for your blood pressure. Yeah. Oh, that plant, sister. You will remember to tell Nurse to get rid of it. Right away, Doctor. I do hope his wife won't be upset. Well, if she is, you can explain. Be dead in a couple of days. It wasn't much light there on the first day. No. <laughs> I couldn't help overhearing your conversation be dead in a... Is there no chance at all? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, dear. That, that is really awful. Yeah, still, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, are you sure there's nothing you can do about it at all? No, not a thing. The rot set in. <laughs> would, would it be all right, you know, if I went in and talked to him? Yes, but uh, try and keep his mind off it. Oh, of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Varley. Mr. Varley. What is it, Mr. Varley, I, I was just checking. Checking what? Uh, checking whether you've gone. Gone where? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, gone. Gone to sleep. 
Mister, I'm listening to the wireless and I'm reading a book. Have you any objections? No, no, Father. Get through as much as you possibly can. Would you like to eat an apple? <laughs> Longer have I got to have you? Well, you know, strictly speaking, you are entitled to 15 minutes a day. But I think I'd better give you tomorrow's while I'm here. <laughs> what, what, what is it you're reading, Mr. Hodge? The Foresight Saga, Volume 1. Oh, couldn't you get a book of short stories? <laughs> I've got a short temper, and it'll be flaring up any minute. This is the end of Mrs. Dale's diary now. Now, you mustn't let that depress you in time. We're all going to miss the end of Mrs. Dale's diary. <laughs> have you thought? Have you have you thought of getting a second opinion? What about? What about whatever it is that's the matter with you? I don't know what's the matter with me. I'm still waiting for that opinion. Well, I still think you ought to get a second one. Well, how can I get a second opinion? I'm not the first one yet. <laughs> well, look, can I give you mine? What is it? Get a second opinion. <laughs> Well, it's sudden concern. I mean, do you think I'm going to snap it or something? No, just bits of ball. It's no good looking on the black side. Now, let's turn to something a little more cheerful. Now, tell me, have you made your will out? <laughs> All right, Job's comforter, you are. Uh, look, let's get one thing clear. There's nothing physically wrong with me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just in here up for observation. I don't think you're going to like the one they've made. <laughs> Oh, could I buy your chair a moment, please? Oh, by all means, we could do with a little bit of extra company. W would you sit down there, there you are. I'm going to stand on it. You're not going to make a speech, are you? <laughs> ah, hello, me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> would you like one last look at it? I do, thank you. I set my heart on the rules of a different view. Now, Mr. Barley, don't be saucy. That was a bit tactless. Would you like one last look at it? She might have waited. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's better than to wait in here. I wish I was ten years younger. No, do you worry. I'll have a tuck him in before the week's out. Mr. Barley, <laughs> I can't keep it from you any longer. <laughs> What I'm going to tell you now is going to test your courage and your fortitude. <laughs> if you but knew it, you've been testing it for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> hey, you already have your suspicions. Suspicions? Now, more than suspicions. Uh, well, I must say, you're taking it very well. I've no choice. Now, have you talked it over with the vicar? <laughs> I've lost you again. Well, most people like the vicar to see them. I mean, you wouldn't go away on a, on a holiday without first seeing your travel agent. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling a bit tired. Oh, yes, of course, you're tired. I beg your pardon. Now, have you any last requests before you go? <laughs> before I go, anything at all? Well, now you come to bring it up, there is one thing you could do for me. Well, gladly, gladly, yes. What is it? Would you get in touch with my wife and tell her I don't want any flowers? <laughs> no flowers? No flowers. Now, if you don't mind, I'll get on with the foresight story. Yes, certainly. What page are you on? Oh, uh, uh, 23. 23? <laughs> You'll never do it. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, I, I, I wish you goodbye. Uh, yes, 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 goodbye. I hope you get, get on all right. <laughs> well, I don't see why I shouldn't. Uh, would you like me to drop you a line? <laughs> that would be rather marvellous. <laughs> goodbye. No, shall we be optimistic and say au revoir? Goodbye! Oh, good. Oh, now who's the next one I've got to cheer up? <laughs> Mr. Russell Ward G. I read Mr. Russell has been a long time doing that jigsaw puzzle. Laughing cavalier, isn't it? I've only got the moustache to do now. Oh. Well, I should give it up and leave him clean shaven. 
How do you do? I'm looking for a Mr. Russell. We found one. Ah. <laughs> well, we start off by presenting the side force and the compliments of the Friendship League and, wi and wishing your recovery will be speedy. Do you mind? I'm yes. trying to concentrate. Ah. Oh, dear me, what a shame. Who did that? Did what? Well, who cut up that beautiful picture into all those little pieces? <laughs> <laughs> they make them that way. Uh, nobody seems to care anymore, do they? <laughs> I bought it like this. I'm trying to put it together again. Oh, oh, oh I see. Yes, yes. You see pardon, pardon, pardon. Now, I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong. But I think that's the thing. I think so. a picture of somebody you know. <laughs> it was the Laughing Cavalier. <laughs> and that made the smile on his face. <laughs> How are you for bed, Stop? <laughs> Oh, I've been half expecting it. It seems you have a rather rare virus infection. It's highly contagious. I hope you're up to date with your injection, sister. We don't want you going down this. Mr. Barry thought I'd got his virus. He wanted that. <laughs> <laughs> well, with any luck, we'll have him out in a couple of days. That last course of injection seems to have done the trick. Oh, yes, he's obviously on the mend. He chased Nurse Clothier around the ward three times before breakfast. Oh, <laughs> there you are, Mr. Varley. You can get back into bed now. All in good time, darling. I now go and clean my teeth. Once round the tin with a razor, touch the old aftershave lotion, and if you're still here when I get back, you've only yourself to blame. I'm warning you, Mr. Barley, any more funny business and I shall fetch this stuff. I don't raise her hopes. She's off my tongue. <laughs> You've got what he has. <laughs> no. Yes. But this is terrible. It is unfortunate. Unfortunate? <laughs> Still, you mustn't worry too much. Soon be over. But I won't go the same way. <laughs> I won't go the same way as Mr. Barley, will I? More or less. 
Well, we've discovered a great deal from his case. Oh. Well, isn't that being rather wise after the event? Now, now just relax, Mr. Wilson. Our main problem at the moment is getting you to rest. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, this is going too far. I know you're short of hospital beds, but let me go in my own. <laughs> well, do you mean to say you'd rather be here? Well, of course I'd rather be here. It's all right for a doctor, you're quite blasted, but it's quite a serious step for me. I've just ordered a new suit with two pair of trousers. <laughs> How tall are you, doctor? Think for what? No, I won't fit you. <laughs> ah, no. No, it's a man's suit. <laughs> oh, I don't know. With a tuck in the jacket, it is fun. Nurse, would you get Mr. Worth ready for his first injection? Certainly not, Nurse. Nurse, is it at all possible for me to use the telephone? I must... Well, it's a rather urgent phone call to my next-door neighbor. Yes, I'll get you a telephone and plug it in. Oh, thank you. Long range weather forecast. <laughs> I won't need that. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Now I don't know if they told you, nurse, but you're going to have the same trouble with me as you had with Mr. Barr. <laughs> Hello, would you... What? Would you... Harry? Would you get... What, Trini? It's the bed next to the door. I... Would you get me 4372? <laughs> ah, hello, Mrs. Lonsdale. This is Harry Worth. If you remember, up to this morning, I used to live next door to you. <laughs> Well, it's a bit difficult to explain on the telephone, but I'm sort of going away. <laughs> Indefinitely. <laughs> Would you stop my newspapers and get the key from under my mat, go through to my sitting room. Look behind the clock, you'll find a couple of library books. Yes. There's a ninepenny fine on one, the other's all right until Tuesday. Oh, thank you. Oh, while I'm on, do you think Mr. Lonsdale would like my lawnmower? <laughs> the one in my shed. Really? When did I borrow it? <laughs> About the what? The postman. Well, well, I can't give you a forwarding address. It's one of two places. <laughs> no, you're not being inquisitive, Mr. Lonsdale. It's just a, I find it difficult to say the words. You... You're very kind. You've always been kind. Goodbye, Mrs. Lomersdale. Mrs. Lomersdale! I completely forgot to tell her. I forgot to switch the immersion off. I'm going to have to put the screens round your bed now, Mr. Ware. Screens? This isn't it, is it? <laughs> it's your injection. But it's not the same injection you gave to Mr. Varley. You remember Mr. Varley? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You can't forget Mr. Varley in a hurry. No, he was a fine man in spite of all his faults. <laughs> you know, I don't get the idea of this injection at all. Well, let's hope you don't feel it either. There, I'll tell Doctor you're ready. I don't know what you're making all the fuss about. I just said we'll go up, that's all. Oh, yes. In the nurse's restroom. <laughs> get into bed and behave yourself. You'd make a good warder, you would. Now, that is quite enough. And don't let me catch you on that corridor again. I won't. Don't you worry. I'll set a lookout. <laughs> Poor sport. That's what she is. I mean, what's wrong with shutting up a couple of nurses? What's well, the harm in it? Where's the justice? Don't do that. Don't do this. <laughs> Take your pills. Turn over. I'm, I'm fed up with it. Mr. Barley. They're the right if... <laughs> What are you doing here? Never mind me. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? I can't understand me. What? I mean, have you been and come back, or are you... <laughs> you 
Oh, you, you delirious. Get back to bed. Well, it's very important. I, I caught your virus. Well, don't panic. I'm not going to charge you for it. <laughs> I'm very confused. What happened? Wouldn't they let you in? <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't think I'm not delighted to see you, Mr. Marley, but by this time I thought you'd be playing the harp. <laughs> playing the harp? Here, you, you're going out of your mind or something. I'm just baffled, that's all. You are here, aren't right? you? are here. It's, it's not me that's made the journey, and I didn't realize it. <laughs> You'll be all right. Will I? Medical science can do some wonderful things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get into bed at once. Both of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wells, I will give you your injection. That will be a little less risky. It was that doctor. He deliberately misled me. Well, I won't mislead you. Turn over. <laughs> ah, Mr. Varley, you've condescended to return to us, have you? He never went. <laughs> oh, no. Mister, was that necessary? Don't be such a baby. My word, it's all go this morning, isn't it? Well, how are you feeling? Don't you worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> you got a headache? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've all get more like a punk and Judy show every day. <laughs> now, Mr. Wood. Now, now, Doctor. How do you explain Mr. Varley? <laughs> In what way? He's here. <laughs> well, I can see he's here, but that's just our temporary misfortune. <laughs> uh, you mean your treatment went wrong and it cured him? What you, Doctor? Mr. Wood, this is some weird attempt at satire. I'm not quite with it. So I have referred to the day before yesterday. You told me the rot had set in. The rot had set in. You said it. Oh, that just well, I was quite right. It uh. died. <laughs> <laughs> what died? Well, the geranium that was on that window ledge there. <laughs> Talking about uranium. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think I was talking about? Well, uranium, of course. Doctor, is it possible for me to make a phone call? It's rather urgent. I honestly can't remember borrowing that lawnmower. I can't remember. You told Doctor, do something. Now, you can make no telephone calls. You are to rest. You are to do nothing. Do I have your solemn oath that I will live? I'm afraid you have. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Now, can we have rather less of the keystone topped impression from this room while I take a turn round the main wall? Uh, Doctor, you're not going to leave me here on my own with him, are you? <laughs> Don't panic, Mr. Varley. This will be just the other side of this door. But I'm trapped. <laughs> if you saw it on television, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> right. I've been sitting here quite convinced that I was going to die in a couple of days. <laughs> 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 what, what, what's funny about that? <laughs> well, don't you think? <laughs> it wasn't me at all, is it? It's uranium. <laughs> Oh, I, I've seen how it's uh, been happening. Uh, uh, you thought that it was you that had gone uh, all the time. It uh, was I uh, got hold of the wrong end of the geranium. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I see if you thought that I was going to. <laughs> Mr. Varley, <laughs> I thought you'd already gone. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, now that'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Barley, I've just thought of something terrible. <laughs> What's the matter? Will your wife be coming to see you at visiting time? <laughs> There'll be trouble if she doesn't. <laughs> There'll be trouble if she does. <laughs> I've just posted my condolences on her. <laughs> <laughs> Bereavement. You, you didn't 
right and say that I was... Ah, uh, uh, I did, I did. But, but you didn't say I was going to... Yes, yes. Oh, no. Now, what on earth am I going to tell her when she finds you've got better? What am I going to tell her? <laughs> <laughs> you've lied to me, you've gone. And I've let her down. Don't you like it? 